IGCSE Biology, Syllabus Statement 271, and here we're looking at what is known as ultrafiltration in the Bowman's capsule and the composition of glomerular filtrate. In this diagram here, we have the same diagram shown in 270. This is the nephron of the kidney, and this is the structure which carries out the filtration of our blood and ultimately results in two things. We would have filtered blood, some people might say cleaned blood, the waste product removed, and, of, and the waste which is known as uh, urine. And in our structure here, this is the Bowman's capsule, uh, the nephron which carries out this process. The urine is going to emerge from the bottom of this tubule here, like that. Then this urine is composed of largely of water, of salts, things like sodium chloride, magnesium chloride, and also of the molecule known as urea if you remember is the molecule that contains the nitrogen waste from the body very toxic and we need to get rid of that so this urine comes out of into here which is the pelvic region drains into the bladder and then you it's passed out in urine so how is this urine actually formed the first process occurs back here at the beginning of the nephron structure which you'll recall that this structure here is known as the Bowman's capsule and this is where the filtration process begins it's known as ultra filtration the filtration of molecules I have a larger diagram of this to try and explain how this occurs so the filtration of blood begins with blood arriving in the kidney, in the nephron, in this blood vessel here known as the afferent arteriole. So here blood is coming in and this blood is under high pressure. It's come from an artery. The blood vessel comes in here like this and as you can see it starts to branch and become very very much smaller twisted and coiled and this twisted and coiled structure is known as the glomerulus. Now the next feature to note is the blood vessel coming out of the Bowman's capsule, this one here. And notice that the diameter of this blood vessel here is smaller. So we've got a wide blood vessel here and a narrow blood vessel here and as blood flows through and into here of course the consequence of this is that it develops a high pressure. So the blood pressure increases in the glomerulus. Now the consequence of this is that the high pressure forces the liquid within blood, which of course you will know as plasma, and plasma contains all the components which are dissolved in blood. For instance, this would include water as the solvent, salts, amino acids, and glucose, and of course, urea. So these are all forced out of the blood vessel and into this space here, which is the inside of the Bowman's capsule. When the plasma is forced into the Bowman's capsule, we change the name of this and we call this filtrate. And because it's in the glomerulus, we call this glomerular filtrate. And this contains, as I said, water, salts, amino acids, glucose, and urea. So the blood has been filtered by pressure due to the smaller restricted diameter of the blood vessel here generating a high pressure in 
here and that forces the liquid into the tube. 